Hello dear friend, in this video we will talk a little about the Brachiosaurus, a huge herbivore, quadruped from the end of the Jurassic period. Welcome to Dinopedia your dinosaurs channel. Let's start the journey at the prehistoric age. What is its name? The name of this animal is Brachiosaurus altithorax. The generic name is Greek for, arm lizard, in reference to its proportionately long arms, and the specific name means, deep chest. It was first described by American paleontologist Elmer Samuel Riggs in year 1903 from fossils found in the Colorado River Valley in western Colorado, United States. What is its size? Brachiosaurus is estimated to have been between 18 and 21 meters, 59 and 69 feet, long. Weight estimates range from 28.3 to 58 metric tons, 31.2 and 64 short tons. What did it look like? Brachiosaurus was certainly one of the most impressive and fascinating animals of the Jurassic period. It had a disproportionately long neck, small skull, and large overall size, all of which are typical for sauropods. Atypically, Brachiosaurus had longer forelimbs than hindlimbs, which resulted in a steeply inclined trunk, and a proportionally shorter tail. What did it eat? It was herbivorous. Where did it live? It lived in Morrison Formation of Western North America. It was also found in Africa and Europe. When did it live? Late Jurassic, about 154 to 153 million years ago. How did it behave? One of the largest species of dinosaur known, Brachiosaurus grazed the tops of trees with the use of its long neck. A docile herbivore, Brachiosaurus was not overtly aggressive and generally stuck to grazing. Walking on four legs, Brachiosaurus balanced itself with a long tail. Probably spent a lot of time cropping or nipping vegetation as high as 9 meters 30 feet off the ground. Unlike other sauropods, it was unsuited for rearing on its hindlimbs. It has been used as an example of a dinosaur that was most likely ectothermic because of its large size and the corresponding need for sufficient forage, but more recent research suggests it was warm-blooded. Among the most iconic and initially thought to be one of the largest dinosaurs. Carnivores rarely attack the Brachiosaurus due to its stupendous size. How was it discovered? The genus Brachiosaurus is based on a partial postcranial skeleton discovered in 1900 in the valley of the Colorado River near Fruta, Colorado. This specimen, which was later declared the holotype, comes from rocks of the brushy basin member of the Morrison Formation, and therefore is late Chimerogen in age, about 154 to 153 million years old. Discovered by American paleontologist, Elmer Samuel Riggs and his crew, from the Field Columbian Museum, this place is now the Field Museum of Natural History of Chicago, this specimen is currently catalogued as FMNHP 25107. Additional information. Between 1909 and 1912, large-scale paleontological expeditions in German East Africa, unearthed a considerable amount of brachiosaurid material, from the Tendaguru Formation. In 1914, German paleontologist Werner Janinsk listed differences and commonalities between these fossils and Brachiosaurus altithorax, concluding they could be referred to the genus Brachiosaurus. From this material Janinsk named two species, Brachiosaurus branchi for the larger and more complete taxon, and Brachiosaurus frosi for the smaller and more poorly known species. There was ample material referred to Brachiosaurus branchi in the collections of the Museum für Naturkunde in Berlin, some of which was destroyed during World War II. Other material was transferred to other institutions throughout Germany, some of which was also destroyed. Additional material was collected by the British Museum of Natural History's Tendaguru expedition, including a nearly complete skeleton BMNHR 5937, collected by Frederick William Hume Mygiad in 1930. This specimen is now believed to represent a new species, awaiting description. Brachiosaurus and the media. Brachiosaurus played a role on movies like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. What is not yet known about it? Ongoing debate revolves around the neck posture of brachiosaurids, with estimates ranging from near vertical to horizontal orientations. Characteristics such as the ability to lower the head to drink water, or the distance between the head and the heart, an important detail for pumping blood to the brain, are subjects of discussion regarding the position of your neck. There are still doubts as to whether the elbows of the brachiosaurus anterior limbs were flexed or not. 
The posture and mechanics of the forelimbs of Brachiosaurus branchi were analyzed with the help of biomechanical models. Peak forces in the joints due to acceleration of the fraction of body weight carried on the shoulder joints are critical in models with completely straight, column-like limbs and a rigid shoulder girdle. During fast walking, either the forelimbs were flexed at the elbows during the middle of the support phase or the apparently rigid shoulder girdle allowed movements of the shoulder joints relative to the trunk. The overall construction of Brachiosaurus was related to an extreme task, browsing high above the ground. Consequently, versatility was very restricted. Reptile data. Scientific classification. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Clade. Dinosauria. Clade. Sauricea. Suborder. Sauropodomorpha. Clade. Sauropoda. Clade. Eusauropoda. Clade. Neosauropoda. Clade. Macronaria. Family. Brachiosauridae. Genus. Brachiosaurus. By Elmer Samuel Riggs, 1903. Species. Brachiosaurus altithorax. Binomial name. Brachiosaurus altithorax. By Elmer Samuel Riggs, 1903. New studies, new discoveries and theories about this fascinating animal are always occurring until the present day, and it seems that it will be object of study for a long time. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.